So recently, a high-energy punk rock band from Kyoto, Japan, was introduced to me. Can they help with learning motivation? Let's find out. So the band from Kyoto, formed in 2009, is called Otoboke Beaver. They are, like I said, high-energy punk uh, with some interesting lyrics. Uh, the lyrics range from like relationship issues to social issues, often with a comedic twist, um, but definitely fun to listen to. I always have a smile on my face when I'm listening to them. So I'm a huge fan of Bandmade. They're, they are my favorite band. So I introduced my best friend to them. We've been introducing each other to new music since we were 11 years old. Um, he, in turn, introduced me to Otoboke Beaver. He tends to have a little bit of the uh, uh, other side of rock that I get introduced to, so I really appreciate that. A lot of times I'm straight up metal and hard rock, and then he'll go around and find some of the uh, more off-the-wall things. Otoboke Beaver, I gotta say that right, fits the bill just right. So the first video that was sent to me from him was a song called I Checked Your Cell Phone, which looked to have been recorded on a cell phone, but it was wild. It was crazy. And when I watched it, I was like, I didn't know what I was seeing at first. Um, but there was the, the intro from the drummer is just totally wild. But in, in, in essence, the song itself was hard for me to understand. My ears could not pick up a single word of the Japanese, um, but it was just super fun to listen to, super high energy. So one other thing that I noticed when I was going through and finally hearing the order of the words and finding out what my ears could pick up versus the, I guess, the lyrics in Japanese that I had found online for me to translate was the order of different like recordings that I heard of this song kind of seemed different. Um, there was other points where I heard hitto and ataku, like hit and attack, in different portions of the song. And I think I picked up the word kawaii, like scary. You'll see why. Um, in different parts and in, in, in different lines as well. And I don't know if that's intentional or if it's just being so fast that my, my brain's not processing it good enough. I, I really don't know. All I know is it was fun. I really enjoyed it. And one other thing. I, in what, a week and a half, I think, from now, I'm actually going to see this band in concert in Minneapolis at Historic First Avenue with my best friend. He's coming up here. Out, he's from out of state, coming up here, and we're going to the concert together. So it's going to be a blast, and I'm really looking forward to it. Looking forward to seeing this band for the first time as well. So I know this is going to be a really fun evening. So I listened to this song many, many times in my car, on um, my headphones while I was working, um, just working out in the gym, trying to understand. I couldn't, I don't think I could make out a single word of the Japanese. The English was pretty understandable. It was actually uh, really understandable. However, there was this just uh, <laughs> really fast vocal that I just could not pick up. And that's the nature of punk rock, right? It's not supposed to be perfect. After a while of listening to the song, reading the lyrics, and my ears finally getting adjusted to it, I was able to pick up most of the words in the song and start to do my own translation. Um, again, I use the same resources that I often use, uh, sometimes other dictionaries and use my textbooks in this one. Uh, but interestingly enough, there was a grammar point in this song that was exactly going that I picked up exactly at the same time that I was in a, a Japanese lesson with my awesome teacher. And like at the same time, I was, we were covered this exact grammar point while I was looking this lyric up and, 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 and translating it. And then I realized this grammar point will now stick in my mind for the rest of my life more than a lot of things recently and because of that i would say that this was perfect learning motivation and this is kind of like putting these things together when you're translating lyrics just if you're studying just for music yeah it's gonna you know like i said before you're not going to get conversational out of it but you find something in a song 
and it has uh, <laughs> some kind of meaning to it or something that, that kind of uh, it attaches itself to you because you're doing this other thing, this is where things start to connect together. So I do feel like just even learning this kind of a punk rock song really was helpful for me. I got a new uh, onomatopoeia out of it too, so we're going to cover that as well. あの、もう一つ。私の日本語がちょうどじゃないと思います。このウッドの歌詞を見て説明してください。ありがとうございます。皆さん、このビデオを楽しんでください。Okay, everyone. So for today, I think I can actually analyze the entire song. It's only technically five lines of lyrics that are repeated dozens of times so fast that I couldn't initially pick it up, of course. Uh, but a couple of the lines are just repeats and slightly modified versions of each other. But there's some cool grammar points. There's some new vocabulary that I didn't know. There are uh, two things. One is a grammar point for shimaimashita, and the other one is a onomatopoeia. So we can do a little introduction onto that. So let's get started. All right, so let's start with the first word, which is kazaidogu, um, household goods. This consists of four kanji, ka, zai, do, and gu. So going into the kanji portion of J.A. Sensei, I will type in the kanji for ka, and we can see that that means house, home, or family. Okay, similarly, I will start with the same thing, which is zai, you can see that that is property, money, wealth, assets, and in three kanji. Um, this one here makes sense if you use the word property since we're talking about household goods. All right, so now I will follow up with the next kanji. Type in do. I often see with uh, martial arts. Here, do can mean road, street, path, way of doing. The last kanji in this, which makes sense, is gu. Okay, so now you can see that's tool, utensil means. Um, this makes a lot of sense because since it's household goods, it's probably going to be around tools or utensils. So this next one, luckily, um, we're looking at the word ishiki, which happens to be the very first kanji when I look at my list, which is the number one. Next will be shiki, and see here I can select directly the kanji, and then you can see it's style, ceremony, right, function, method, and system. So next is a Katakana word for called hito, which just means to hit. So for this next one in the next line of lyrics, I'll look for the word keitai. Long form is keitai denwa. So keitai denwa means mobile phone, or you can use keitai, which is just a, a quicker way to say cell phone. So for this next word to see, or miru, we're going to start with the conjugation of just miru for the imperative form, mite. So I'll come into here, we'll just type in miru. I'll go down to the imperative form, mite. 
Uh, that's that's very common. You hear mite, 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 kurasai, things like that all the time. So using another resource, uh, this is JLPT Sensei. It's a, web, a really useful website. There is a um, t another te form conjugation. So in this case, we conjugated mite, which I didn't use the kanji. I used the hiragana to see. Mite shimaimashita. So additional conversation. <laughs> additional conjugation in here is te shimao or chao. In this case, they're using a te shimao form. And the polite progressive past tense would be the te form plus the past tense form of it. In this case, te shimao, te shimaimashita means to do something by accident or to finish completely. Oddly enough, this is exactly what I had just gone over in a lesson. R right after going this in the lesson, one or two days later, I started going through these lyrics and picked it up right away. It was so fresh in my mind. So I'll never forget this. You had to use it, use the te form of the verb. And then shimao, shimaimas, those are the uh, progressive uh, present tense forms. Um, or shimatta. And sometimes you just hear people say, ah, shimatta, to mean they regretted something. In this case, it's the polite past progressive tense. Mite shimaimashita. So you take shimaimas and take, make it shimaimashita. So the next line of lyrics, which is, aitsu mecha machingu shiteimashita. The first word, aitsu, is actually a kosoado word, which is a um, distance demonstrative, a type of adjective. In this case, aitsu, koitsu, or soitsu, doitsu, those all determine, or those are all specific to a person. Now, using the uh, resource tofugu.com, tofugu is an awesome resource, uh, resource, especially for a lot of uh, cultural aspects. In this case, it explains that these words are used to refer to people, but they're very informal and can sound gruff or rude, which is very fitting considering the, uh, the, the purpose of this song. Okay, so next one, how to say very or extremely. So after aitsu is mecha, instead of saying totemo, which also means very, you say mecha. And the romaji spelling looks like mecha, <laughs> so it's, it's not, it doesn't mean robot. It just means uh, very, so mecha oishi. And this one, mecha machingu shiteimashita. <laughs> so it's common, as it explains in this article um, in Kansai region. This band being from Kyoto, it really makes sense because Kyoto is part of the Kansai region. And for the next word in these lyrics is the word machingu, which is just the katakana form of the English word matching. Easy enough. I found, uh, you can look up this anywhere online, of course. Um, just, I'm going through resources that I use. In this case, it's uh, romajidas.com, which is just an online Japanese English dictionary, English Japanese dictionary. And then uh, the last part, shiteimashita, is just past progressive tense. Like doing is our progressive tense, was doing is our past progressive tense. So shiteimashita is a past progressive tense for doing something. <laughs> In this case, aitsumecha matching shiteimashita means um, <laughs> that one was a really good match. And so back to romajidas.com, uh, just another, you know, another one in the dictionary. This one is an onomatopoeia. So it's, onomatopoeia is like two repeating syllables or two repeating sounds that make a word. Often the sound of the word is almost descriptive of the feeling or the meaning of the word. In this case, the word is tsui tsui, which means that we're, you're doing something unconsciously. In this case, tsui tsui mite shimaimashita means like, I couldn't help it, I looked at it. I couldn't help but I looked at your phone, <laughs> that kind of thing. I couldn't help it, but I just saw that, oh, this was a really good match. And then anger, <laughs> something like that. And then finally, two additional words. Um, the lyrics tend to repeat themselves, but in certain lines, if you listen closely, you'll, you'll hear uh, hitto being replaced with ataku, which means attack. And that's the katakana English spelling for attack. The other one that's interjected, I think at the beginning of another line, you'll hear kawaii instead of why. Kawaii, which means uh, scary or frightening. In this case, I'll go into my vocabulary and I'll type in kawaii and there's actually like two similar meanings to be afraid or frightening. Same pronunciation, but different kanji depending on the context. But of course, the two words are related as well. So if this is your first time hearing them, please tell me what you think. And if you're already a fan, uh, 
please add your opinion as well. Uh, there are three reasons why I really like this band. Number one, they are unique. They have a high energy, a great drive. I really enjoy this type of, uh, this type of music. It's chaotic, uh, but in a way that's, that's kind of fun too. Everything is just a blast whenever you watch this band. Number two, I actually feel that their energy gets me motivated to learn. Their songs are short and high energy, and so there's bite-sized chunks. So all I need to do is look up the lyrics, even if I can't understand. One of the things I noticed listening to their other music is there are things that my ears do pick up. That just happened to be the tempo of that song. And number three, again, is I'm going to see them live in concert, and I am just... Did I mention I'm excited? <laughs> because I am. So um, I recommend seeing them. They're on their U.S. tour for 2024, North American tour, I believe. And um, they're playing in a lot of cities. So check them out if you get a chance. So anyways, if you have any other recommendations, please leave them in the comment section below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. And I'll keep posting some more content. So everyone, have a great day. Century out.